Hello, my name is Peter Whitehead and I'm a member of the U3A Bromley Art Appreciation Group. This is one of a series of talks uh, which I've prepared and delivered during lockdown for members of the group who can't uh, otherwise attend or participate in meetings. Uh, the Art Appreciation Group is a group of people who are enthusiastic about art and want to learn more, but uh, we're not experts and I'm certainly not, so please bear that in mind when you listen to this talk. The subject of today's talk, is it's a short talk, uh, is Adolphe Vallette, uh, Manchester's French Impressionist. Uh, I first became aware of the work of Vallette when I visited uh, the Manchester uh, Art Gallery. Uh, I recommend, if you get an opportunity one of these days, uh, to visit some of the provincial art galleries, Birmingham, uh, the Walker at Liverpool, the Lady Lever at Port Sunlight, are all well worth uh, a visit. And Manchester is on that list. And they have quite a collection of works by Vallette. This is the man himself, a self-portrait uh, in 1917, uh, looking very hipsterish, I think. Um, but let's have a look at some biographical details. So he's born in 1876 uh, in Saint-Étienne, which is in the kind of centre of France. He studied in Saint-Étienne and Lyon and Bordeaux, uh, mainly uh, as an engraver. Uh, he started at the age of 15 studying in the uh, Industrial Art School in Saint-Étienne as an engraver. He had intended to travel to, to Japan to study art uh, because Japanese art was very influential uh, with the French Impressionists and others. Um, but the Russo-Japanese War put an end to that and he came to the UK instead. Uh, he worked as a commercial artist in Manchester, um, designing labels for cotton goods. Uh, and then he was asked to take a job as master of painting and drawing at the Manchester Municipal School of Art. Uh, where he had studied for a brief time, uh, as he had done at Birkbeck. He returned to France uh, because he had a disabled sister who needed caring for in 1928, and he, did, and he died in 1942. These are some of the paintings that Vallette made. Vallette saw in Manchester, um, which I imagine at the time was a rather dirty, um, smoke-stained industrial town where it rained a lot. That's what Manchester is, isn't it? Um, but he saw something which could be portrayed in an Impressionist uh, manner. Uh, so he's the French Impressionist who really um, puts Manchester on the art map. Uh, Monet had made several visits to London around 1900, painting the effects of uh, fog, and Vallette was uh, similarly entranced by the Manchester weather and atmosphere. This is Central Station, Manchester in 1910. Um, I think it's quite reminiscent of uh, Monet's paintings of the Gare Saint Lazare. He also emulated Monet by painting multiple views of the same scenes in different light conditions and from different viewpoints. This is one of the bridges over the Irwell. And this is a view underneath uh, the bridge. Um, as well as the French Impressionists, I think there were hints of Whistler in uh, Vallette's work, a, a flat perspective. Uh, the composition is asymmetric, um, not much tonal variety, uh, and you have the very poetic effect of mist and uh, rain uh, on, the, uh, uh, on the scene. And you've got a lone silhouetted figure here down on the right, leading your eye into the picture. 
And it's all a bit, there's an air of melancholy about this. Another bridge, Trafford Road Swing Bridge, with uh, a little steamer by the looks of it uh, on the on the river, but very muted palette, uh, mainly browns in this case. We move to the centre of Manchester. Manchester Oxford Road is one of the main routes into Manchester and the building being built there is I think the Refuge Assurance building which now is uh, a hotel but uh, you can see again greens and browns in the palette it seems very smoky it seems very foggy um, the road itself is rather muddy with a mixture of horses and motor cars uh, in it. Albert Square in Manchester in 1910, again with the figures in the foreground, the horse eating from its uh, nose bag uh, and a mist or fog or just rain covering everything. You can see the rain on the kind of uh, cobbled, I suppose you'd call it streets there uh, and the silhouette of a man um, pushing his cart um, and the, the figures are fairly anonymous you can tell that they are you wouldn't be able to point pick out that man in a crowd again I think it's um, a uh, generic figure I, I don't know the date of this but again this reminds me always of the start of uh, Coronation Street um, the wet slate moves the uh, low cloud, the rain, um, uh, it conjures up Manchester. Uh, it doesn't romanticise it, I think. It just represents uh, what Manchester was like uh, in the early 20th century. And Vallette saw that there was some um, beauty in that. And this is his last uh, painting of the city. Um, we've got workmen digging a hole in the road in the foreground. Uh, the light from the mill in the background. Uh, smoke from a train going over the bridge. So there's another bridge. Um, it's reminiscent, I suppose, of the paintings of the Camden Town Group who painted London from 1911 to 1913, painters such as uh, Sickert. But I think this is also leading towards another painter who studied with Vallette. This is not by Vallette. It's one of a series showing the same view at different times of day. Uh, and in fact, it's an early work by L.S. Lowry. There's Lowry himself in a self-portrait in 1925. And this is what he had to say. He attended Vallette's life drawing class from 1905 to 1915. I cannot underestimate the effect on me at that time of the coming into this drab city of Adolphe Vallette full of the French Impressionists, aware of everything that was going on in Paris. He had a freshness and breadth of experience that exhilarated his students. And I think some of the style of Vallette rubbed on Lowry, though he made it his own. So if we think of scenes of mills, uh, we think of scenes with little indeterminate figures, the matchstick men that uh, Lowry uh, is famous for. Uh, scenes of northern line, uh, northern life, children playing in the street, all that kind of thing. I think you can see how that develops from uh, the work of Vallette, uh, who was Lowry's teacher. Well, that's a very brief introduction to Vallette. Uh, I hope it encourages you to uh, research further into his work. And I said, if you want to see his paintings, hopefully 
it won't be too long before you're able to travel up to Manchester to go to the Manchester Art Gallery uh, and to see the works that they hold there. Uh, thank you for listening.